Ever wondered what to do if someone is drowning? It's a situation no one wants to find themselves in. But knowing the correct steps to take can make all the difference. Firstly, always ensure the scene is safe. Be aware of factors such as currents, slippery surfaces, or any other hazards that could put you or others at risk. Remember, your safety is paramount. Secondly, check the victim's responsiveness. A gentle shake of the shoulders and a loud query of, are you okay, can elicit a reaction. A responsive victim will usually respond with some form of sound or movement. Time is of the essence when dealing with a drowning incident. Dial your local emergency number immediately. Every second counts. Next, position the victim. Ideally, they should be laid flat on a firm, stable surface such as the ground. Once the victim is positioned, open the airway using the head tilt, chin lift maneuver. This involves tilting the head back slightly and lifting the chin to create a clear passage for breathing. Now, check for breathing. Look, listen, and feel for breaths for no more than 10 seconds. Watch for the rise and fall of the chest, listen for breathing sounds, and feel for air on your cheek near the victim's mouth. If the victim isn't breathing, it's time to deliver rescue breaths. Pinch their nose, seal your mouth with theirs and give two slow one second breaths, making sure to note any chest rise. Next, locate the compression point. This is the center of the chest at the nipple line between the breasts. Place the heel of one hand here. Deliver chest compressions by interlocking your fingers and pressing down hard and fast at least 2 inches deep at a rate of 100, 120 compressions per minute. Think of the Bee Gees song, Staying Alive for a Good Tempo Guide. Finally, perform a cycle of compressions and breaths. This involves 30 chest compressions followed by 2 rescue breaths. Continue these cycles until help arrives or the victim shows signs of life such as breathing or movement. To recap, remember to ensure scene safety, check responsiveness, call for help, position the victim, open the airway, check for breathing, deliver rescue breaths if necessary, locate the compression point, deliver chest compressions, and perform cycles of compressions and breaths. Knowing how to respond to a drowning incident is vital. By understanding and memorizing these steps, you could potentially save a life. So take a moment, absorb this information, and be prepared. You never know when you might need it.